This is our S double one double zero ICU ventilator, and for this we can first check the main components. It including the main engine, the humidifier, air compressor, and the hanger. Also, we have the reusable pipeline for adults and also for children. If you want to use for neonatal, also we have the spare parts for you. And then we have the breathing bag. And now let's turn on the machine, and you can check the details. First, we take on the power on the back side of the machine. And you will see the machine first getting into the self-testing to protect the machine and also prevent the damage to the patient. In the standby stand interface, you can see there are two choices. First one is for the adult, and the second one is for children and neonatal. Once we press the rotate button, and we can see we can do the ventilation mode choosing first. It is including the IPPV, PCV, AC, SMV, spontaneous CPAP, and PSV. So it means our machine has both the volume control and also the pressure control mode. You can use for different patients. And then under each of the ventilation mode, we can choose for different details like the tidal volume, frequency, and IE ratio. Then once we confirm, we will get into the main interface. On the main interface, we have totally four parts. On the above side here is for the alarming area. And the alarming area is uh, separate into two colors, the red one and the yellow one. And also for the uh, voice frequency, we have totally three kinds. You can hear. And the most uh, urgent frequency will be the first level you need to solve the problem. And also with the red color. And here is the ventilation mode we are choosing now. On the left side here is for the monitoring parameters. And the right side here, we have two waveforms for cyclonics to show on the screen. And each one of them you can choose for the loop. On the below side here is for the adjusting area. For the first button here is for mute button. Once we press this button, then the machine will be in silence for two minutes and then it will recover again. And the second button is for the graphics. As I have mentioned, you can choose each one of them to change it to the PV loop. And the second one is for the lock. It means once we lock the machine, and then the buttons cannot be used. The third one is the nebulizer function. Also we call it the atomization. It means usually for some children and neonatal, they may need for the medicine to with the breath in gas together for the for curing of the disease. So we can use it and this button is automatically. Once we press it and it will automatically give the gas with the medicine together. The last one will be the oxygen calibration. And once we first get the machine, uh, before the first time we use it, we will, we will need to do the oxygen calibration. That means at the 21% or also the 100%. The third button here is for changing the ventilation mode again. When you after a patient using or change to another patient. The fourth one here is the alarming area. It means it will be also showing the alarms here. It means the history alarm. And then, after several months, if the engineer comes to do the maintenance, then they will know what is the problem caused to the ventilator, and we will know how to do it. And here is the limits. The upper limit and lower limit we can change for different alarming function. The fifth button here is the menu button. Once we press it, and there will be a symbol on the screen. That means the menu ventilation. The last one button. We press it for three seconds, then it will enter into the standby interface again to change to another patient. And here you can see, for this machine here, we have totally four ports. The first one here is the expiration port, and here this one is for the nebulizer. Once we need to use this function, we need to connect with a small pipe. And here, this one is for preserve. Uh, later, if the customer needs for the ETCO2, then we will make this port. And the fourth port here is for the inspiration port. And this rotate button is for changing and adjusting the oxygen concentration from 21% to 100%. And this one is the humidifier. For the humidifier, we have totally three types. And this one is the digital one. You can see here is the water trap, and this one is the foundation. And we can use our finger very easily to change the temperature to different levels. And the temperature will be shown here real time. For the pipeline here, all pipeline we are using, no matter for adult or children or the neonatal, we are using for the reusable one. So usually you can use it for a long time. Uh, usually it can, it can be used for uh, three to four months. And then it will be our air compressor. For this air compressor, uh, our compressor is the best known in China because of the noisy. Our noisy is uh, less than 40 dB. And also you can see 
on the middle side of the screen can show in the parameters digitally with the history using time and also the input pressure. Thank you. I think it's too long, so I'm...